the Miami Heat had an historic run to the NBA Finals. As an 8th seed, they became the second team to ever make the NBA Finals in NBA history alongside the New York Knicks in the 1970s. During these finals, the Miami Heat showed great competitiveness and toughness, led by the likes of Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. Unfortunately, Tyler Hero was a no-show in the finals due to the fact that he broke his hand during Game 1 of the playoffs against Milwaukee. In these finals, role players stepped up in the likes of Caleb Martin, Max Drews, and Gabe Vincent, which will most likely give them a huge payday come in the offseason. Now, on to the NBA Finals against the Denver Nuggets. These finals in five games showed that the Denver Nuggets were the more talented team and had more playoff grit than the Miami Heat in some cases down the stretch where the Miami Heat heavily allowed, allowed role players to be the focal point of their offense, which I know in a sense that doesn't make any sense because you have Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler and allowing them to help you out on offense is a good thing, but when they don't make shots, it heavily affected their offense and they looked for Jimmy Butler who unfortunately disappeared in game five of the NBA Finals and only showed up in the last five minutes hitting two back-to-back three-pointers to cut the game to about four points but ultimately they lost the game and they lost the finals for a second time in the last four seasons I believe and ultimately I think that the Miami Heat have to go out and get another star and now there has been talks of the Miami Heat going out and getting a player like a Damian Lillard from the Trailblazers or a player like say a Kyrie Irving any superstar that's a French superstar like Bradley Beal those three players are like the only players I see that they can get with the assets that they have like if they trade Tyler Hero and maybe Duncan Robinson's contract and maybe a first round pick maybe they can get one of those players we'll see what happens but ultimately I don't think they will be able to because the players may command more of an asset in trades like that because Damon Lillard is one of the top point guards in the league and maybe the Trailblazers just want more back than the Heat have to offer so I'm not sure where they're going to go in this direction of the offseason. All I know is Jimmy Butler has to show up more in the playoffs during crunch time. He disappeared in the game five and Bam Adebayo had a better series overall than Jimmy Butler, which is not highly unlikely, but ultimately something that you don't want coming from a player that you paid millions of dollars to be the star of the franchise. And I think Bam Adebayo really showed that he can be that guy maybe a second option but he can beat that guy when it comes down to the stretch and ultimately i'm excited for the Miami heat now if they decide to keep tyler hero i do think that he will be someone that will show up in the regular season and ultimately help them out in a playoff run i don't know i don't think they will because they're gonna try to go and get one of the superstars consistent playoff team, a consistent 8th seed that and really somehow elevate in the playoffs but ultimately what they have is never enough to win a championship so hopefully they will be able to make some changes and get an NBA championship back in the game. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I know uploads haven't been you know, frequent but I'm working on stuff, working on a big project that I'm going to be coming out of soon. And just, I hope you guys check out the content that I'm going to channel. It's probably going to be different in other months. So, I will be back with more videos down the line. But there's a big project that I'm coming out with soon. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just subscribe, like, comment, share this with your family, share it with everyone. You know, um, I'm trying to grow this brand and 
We'll see you next time. Peace.